the 3.3 announcement stream for Genshin Impact is starting soon. Scar Moose, Farzan, the card game genius invocation. The stream started? What the fuck? Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? No. The Tori. <laughs> <laughs> what an evil laugh. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Oh my god, the dumpster! Squad Fury. Oh! He's flying all around! Yo, we got the Hazo kick. Dude, this song is bumping. Queen! Let's go. Yes! Oh, she's a bow! I didn't even pay attention to what Scarmoose weapon was. Boom! Dude, she looks so cute! Give me more! Come on! Give me more than that! The mere fact of your utility does not make you Okay, this looks like story stuff. is still in Nahida's custody. So mm. I bet the question everyone's wanting to know is how he'll become the Wanderer. She's gonna walk around with Skarmoosh like on a leash. If you're interested, then be Take sure him to for play a walk. the Archon Quest interlude chapter. There we go! Version of Genesis. New Archon Quest. That's exactly what I wanted. That's the best way to tell the story of Skarmoosh and the Wanderer. Let's go. Bro. Wow. This looks like Attack on Titan. Let's have a look at the Wanderer in combat. Here we go. Everyone's been waiting to There's see no Scarmoose. To change pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. Oh my god, he attacks from rays? That's hype. Ooh, dude, that he's just floating? Bow your head. Oh god, he's still got that Dommy. Uh, he still likes to be the Dom, I see. Is that his weapon? Crit damage. Finally. Oh, what did you say? Faruzan. I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes She's my so ears. She's so cute. Try calling me Madam Faruzan. Okay, I'll Madam. See if I could pick that up. Okay, Madam. <laughs> Play with her hair. Huh? She's big thinking. <sighs> what is it that you would like to learn more about? Different forms of pressure-based puzzle mechanisms. The sure. Base layer design of elemental monuments. I can pretend that I care about that stuff. Did you forget to call me Madam Faruzan just now when you asked your question? <laughs> Why we got two Dommy, Dommy Mommy and Dommy Boy? Age. Holy shit. So even though she looks super young, she's actually an old person? Like, er, where's my G? <laughs> well, she's Anime. not that Faruzan's base. Okay, here we go. Content! Any change those dumb rules at the academia. Bro, I need a C6. Dare to mess with me. Boom. Little animal thing on the ground. Charge shot. Have that sucks in. Gift. The burst is a flying thing around that was following enemies. Banner time. There's Ito. The Wanderer and Arataki Ito no big surprise there. Their own event wishes. Farazan will also be making her debut in these events. Farazan on in the a later Geo part character. Of version 3.3, we'll be seeing rerun event wishes for both what? the Raiden Shogun and Kamisato Ayaka. What? And last but not Who least, Tao? the new five-star Tule Tula's Remembrance Shut will be up. appearing in a new weapon event wish. Two brand new artifact series will become available. <gasps> so new artifacts! Sure to Travelers Guys, we're going to analyze everything at the end. This is big to see if the card game is actually super fun or not or just kind of whatever the objective is to defeat all of your opponents join me a deck that's right also there are many features and mechanics in the game that resonate with genshin impacts gameplay when does a straw exchanged in the event shop for cards or Ooh. can even unlock dynamic look how many cards there are cards. let's right. go all character cards can unlock a dynamic the legend the gold I cards in uh, hearthstone be sure to give it a try. Match making mode. That playing against your friends or other travelers won't count towards any leaderboards or provide any rewards. Leaderboard. So you can relax. No, don't bait me. Dude, the card game looks so good though. So the 3.3 stream just wrapped up. 
And now I want to do uh, analysis on all the kinds of stuff. We can talk about the artifact set. We can look at the weapon. We actually got some information on the five-star weapon, which we almost never do. First off, we can start on this. We're getting a brand new Archon quest, which some of us weren't even expecting an Archon quest because they were like, the main story Archon quest ends uh, at 3.2. But I guess this isn't the main story, but we're getting a full-blown Archon quest for Skarmouche, aka the Wanderer, which is lit because that's how, you know, we're gonna learn the story of him, why he's a new element, why he's a good guy now, if he is on a leash from Nahida or whatever. <laughs> but uh, no, this is a really cool way for them to do the Skarmouche story. I'm hype. Uh, I love the Archon quest. Skarmouche looks to be honestly one of the sickest kits in the whole game. He floats in the air. He attacks from range with these like air sights and he's got a lot of mechanics. It seems it was kind of hard to break down just through the words that they gave us. But um, like, you know, if he swirls with different elements, he gets certain points. He has chances to dash around without taking energy. He normally takes energy uh, to dash around. And then his burst like is just looks to be like a huge burst of damage. Um, and it sets him back on the ground. But it seems like his core gameplay is going to be like flying around, shooting these air sights, doing a ton of damage. He's a main DPS animo character, not a support, you know, not for Viridus and Venner or Shred, which I'm sure he can do, but it looks to be like he is going to just destroy stuff. And you guys can see Kazuha power creep. Pfft, Kazuha is so last week, guys. Kazuha is garbage obviously just kidding but <laughs> the traversal power creep you'll love to see it scarmoose looks so sick so 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 sick we'll have to wait for more details which i'll make a video on to, uh youtube as well when they really give us all the details of his moves on the hoyoverse website but really looking cool right here we get information on his five-star weapon they never do this they never they always show us what the weapon looks like we actually get to see what it does check it out crit damage is the stat broken we all love crit stats uh sub stats on weapons normal attack speed is increased by 10 percent okay that's pretty cool after the wielder uses elemental skill normal attack damage will increase by 4.8 percent every second for 14 seconds dude imagine yon fei like <laughs> ning guang maybe ning guang won't feel like doo-doo klee dude who knows okay after hitting an opponent with a normal attack during uh this duration Normal attack damage will increase by 9.6. This can be, uh, this increase can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds. The maximum normal attack damage increases per single duration overall effect 48%, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it seems to be an attack speed based, normal attack damage based catalyst, which we've never really had. Yeah, Dodoco Tails is a bit like charge shot, uh, you know, related, but dude, this weapon looks really good. And I think for a lot of people out there that are fans of playing Yan Fei, maybe even Ning Guang, Klee, uh, and then maybe you could do some like meme, like DPS Mona stuff. Uh, this looks really, really cool. This looks like a sick weapon. Obviously, this is like handmade, handcrafted for uh, Wanderer Scaramouche. But uh, this looks to be a pretty universal weapon if you want to run DPS uh, mages. So cool weapon, cool weapon. So. From what I could gather from Faruzan's kit, it looks to be she uses her skill. She then gets a charge attack. Uh, she gets her next charge attack empowered, which is like a little mini sucrose um, skill where it's going to suck in. It's going to have some crowd control. It's going to do animo shred. Uh, it seems that she shreds animo res with her skills and bursts and stuff like that, which is super sick for any DPS um animo characters so obviously wanderer big support for xiao which is cool i know there's a lot of xiao mains out there as well uh heijo if you want to make heijo work and then even things like kazuha and venti maybe you could run a more swirl based version like more dps version farzan might enable that or make the comp even better so i'm really hype it seems like farzan's good for like every animo character under the sun in one way or another and i hope she does a lot of damage too they said that she also scales with attack like she gives a buff based on her attack which is great because that hopefully means that she's going to be doing a lot of damage as well like uh such as bennett you know bennett wants really high attack to give that buff 
Um, and Bennett actually does do a lot of damage if you build him properly. You've got crit, all that good stuff. So it looks like I'm hoping Farazon can also do a lot of damage as well. But it seems like her support is going to be really, really, really good. And then her burst does look a bit weird. Let's uh, skip forward for that. So here's the charge attack that sucks in. That's really cool. And then it boosts up Heijo. So her burst sets this thing up that moves in a triangle. Now you can see like in the middle of the triangle, like right in front of her, it's still gonna get hit. So if you can put this around like a big enemy, it's still gonna get hit, but looks to be like it's gonna be annoying to aim. Uh, you know, we're gonna have to get used to it and learn, but I, I like it when the character is a little bit more difficult to play anyway. So farms on. Looks really, really cool, and I'm hoping she's a really strong four star. Sometimes, you know, the four stars aren't that good. We gotta talk about the banners, of course. Uh, so, Ito's back for the Genius Invocation. If you guys don't know, Genshin pretty much reruns characters based on whatever story events, character events, etc. They don't really care how long Yula or Hu Tao hasn't gotten an event. So, we've got Ito. I feel like he was just here, but uh, Ito's a fan favorite, so he's obviously really good. Wanderer is sick. Uh, Farazon being on Edo banner is kind of weird because Animo and Geo don't work at all, but alas, so Edo's a great character. Um, maybe I'll do a banner analysis another time, but Edo is really good, but you need all the Geo supports, like Goro is going to make him a lot better, stuff like that. Super good character, though. And, but the weapon banner is going to be that crit damage catalyst and Red Horn Stone Thresher, which is a crit damage um, Claymore. That sounds like a really good weapon banner. Hopefully uh, the four stars are good, but pretty stacked weapon banner. And speaking of stacked weapon banners, because we've got that test of courage Inazuma Yokai event, which looks awesome. Uh, you know, I'm just a weeb, so I love the, the Yokai Japanese stuff. But um, Raiden Shogun is back. Her Excellency, the Grand Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, and Ayato, Ayaka's brother. Um, Two fantastic freaking characters. Raiden and Archon, of course. Uh, one of the best, if not the best, Electro character in the game. Off-field damage, energy support, huge damage burst. Enables a lot of cool strats like Hyper Bloom off-field. Uh, Elemental Mastery Raiden Shogun is popping off with Hyper Bloom, stuff like that. Raiden Shogun's amazing. Bubasword is back. Uh, she need no introduction. Okay, she's one of those characters that pretty much everyone wants. Ayato, on the other hand, fantastic. Super, super good. He's one of the two characters in the game I don't have. It's Ayato and Tainari. But um, I know Ayato's really good. Uh, super good on-field Hydro DPS, does a ton of damage. Works well with Yun Jin, because it's technically normal attack damage. Uh, works well with Yoimiya, because he boosts normal attack damage. Um, super good character. Not like a must pull or anything like that. I'd say Raiden Shogun is like pretty high up there on the priority list for most players. But if you don't have an on-field pyro uh, DPS, such as like Child or C6 Kokomi, like I knew, um, then <laughs> the Child might be right for, uh, excuse me, Ayato might be right for you. Ayato super good. But think about the weapon banner. Engulfing Lightning, Haran Gapaku. This might be the most stacked back-to-back -back weapon banners we've seen. Uh, I'm talking out of my ass. Maybe we got something even better than that. But this weapon banner, this one is insanely good. Engulfing Lightning is uh, Raiden Shogun's best weapon by far and bar none. Nothing's even close. Uh, it's really good on characters like Shang Ling and stuff too. And then Haranga Baku is kind of like just a really strong stat stick. So super strong weapon banner we got here. Two new artifact sets. Let's look at the first one. Pavilion Chronicle. Animal damage bonus 15%. When charged attacks hit opponents. The equipping character's normal attack speed will increase by 10%, while normal charge and plunging attack damage will increase by 40%. Okay, now, obviously this is for Scar moves, but let's think if we could use this on other characters. Xiao doesn't really like to charge attack too much. He can, but it does take some of his energy. It takes time away from the plunge. So we'll see. This probably is pretty good on Xiao. I'm going to keep it a buck, but um, you are going to have to weave some charge attacks in there to get the full value here. Heijo likes to charge attack, which sounds great. And then I'm wondering if this could even be good on other characters that aren't Animo. You know, maybe they waste the Animo damage percent, but like maybe the attack speed and the normal damage bonus is going to actually help other characters. Maybe like Yoimiya charge attacks once and then boom, 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 boom. We'll have to see. Uh, it's going to be pretty up in the air, but um, obviously this is a perfect set 
for Animo DPS characters, uh, especially Skarmouche, Heijo, and maybe Shao. So a little bit niche, but we'll see. The next one, Flower of Paradise Lost. Increases elemental mastery by 80. Nothing we haven't seen before, but the equipping characters Bloom, Hyper Bloom, and Burgeon reaction damage are increased by 40%. Done. Okay, so this is for Hydro reactions involving Dendro. All of these involve Hydro, so... Looks like we're getting a Nilu set. That could be it. But additionally, after the equipping character triggers Bloom, Hyper Bloom, or Burgeon, they will gain another 25% bonus to the effect mentioned prior. Each stack of this lasts 10 seconds, max four stacks. This effect can only be triggered once per second. The character who equips this can still trigger its effect when not on the field. That's very important. Um, that is super important. This seems to be the Kokomi set. If you guys don't know, I'm the biggest Kokomi fan on the planet. Dude, let's go! But yeah, this seems to be really cool to boost up Bloom. Yeah, there was, you know, Deepwood Memories, but there wasn't anything specifically for Bloom, specifically for, like, Nilu, for example, which I'm not really sure if Nilu's even gonna be able to use it. You'd have to play her kind of differently, but seems to be a really, really cool set, especially for the Bloom, Hyper Bloom, Burgeon teams. I could see somebody like Toma running this, I think, on uh, the Burgeon comps, for example. Uh, anybody who's running Burgeon, I think they're gonna try to make Burgeon a little bit more meta as time goes on but uh, I can't speculate too hard on this set, but it seems to be very, very good for all your Bloom, Hyper Bloom needs. Uh, yeah, even Hyper Bloom, maybe, uh, I think um, Raiden Shogun could run this on those Hyper Bloom sets. Kuki, someone said in the chat. Yeah, Kuki. Kuki's not normally the biggest damage dealer on the sets, but if you are running Hyper Bloom and she's your one, like perhaps, but Honestly, a sick set. This seems really universal. And it honestly seems for those support elemental mastery DPS based characters, it actually seems to me to be a little bit better than Gilded Dreams. Since Gilded Dreams either gives more EM or attack, some of those characters don't really benefit from attack. This one just makes everything do more damage straight up percentage based uh, for the Hydro related reaction. So looks really cool. We're getting a new sword here with the Test of Courage event. I hope it's really good, but standard stuff here. We've got this balloon chasing event in Mondstadt. Just gonna give a bunch of rewards. Uh, something to do, something to kill time, nothing crazy. As we can see, guys, the Wind Trace event is back. Longtime Genshin players have been playing this, uh, you know, for a couple years now, I guess. But it's super fun. It's like hide and go seek tag. Uh, it's like prop hunt. Um, from Team Fortress 2 where you can hide and turn into things. Super fun. It's just a great thing to do with your friends, do on stream, kill time. You'll get some Primo Gems and rewards, but a really fun event and it speaks for itself watching the trailer and all that jazz, but glad it's back. Another event coming back is the Misty Dungeon. Personally, I love the Mystery Dungeon. Misty Dungeon. <laughs> Mystery Dungeon. Freaking Pokemon brain here. Uh, I love the Misty Dungeon. It's really fun because it's only trial characters. Which means, yes, you don't use your own characters, but I like it because everyone's on even footing. So I like to go in and like do speed runs where it's like get the fastest possible time. And I, com I like compare times with my community here on Twitch and in the Discord. But uh, I actually like this event a lot. I think it's fun and cool and plan and you can do speed runs and it's like, you know, that's just the competitive in me. You know, we don't have to face against the whales and all that. We can just do it ourselves. Let's go. So a big thing that everyone's been waiting for here is the Genius Invocation card game a permanent new gameplay mode being added it honestly looks really good there was a lot of different cards i'm happy about that that there wasn't just like 30 40 50 different cards and you know have fun it looks like there's a lot more cards than that maybe like a hundred maybe even more and then as you can see the cards are like animated you can unlock the animated uh version of the card uh you know it's said by getting the rare version so i'm hoping there's no payment involved whatsoever i'm down to grind i'm down to go farm random you know monsters around the world to get this but the cards look beautiful the animation looks great and it seems to be kind of hearthstoney with the hp and then with the uh energy you can see on the right like uh in that right corner you can see animo animo pyro electro electro you roll these dice and then that is your energy for the turn and you can decide how you want to use the energy and whatnot um which is really it's cool i think that's like a nice way you know yeah it is rng but sounds like a fun system to do like energy and stuff uh i have played a lot of card games um uh, in my days i was legend rank and hearthstone when i like to play that so i, I hearthstone's the game i'm going to compare it to the most personally but um 
honestly guys it looks pretty darn promising it looks really fun it's obviously permanent so we can play it all the time there might have been a little bit of miscommunication in this where they i don't think they said there was a leaderboard but i, I really hope there is but i don't know but nonetheless this is the card game we're waiting for there's not too much i can go into now since i don't have it in my hands i can't say how it feels uh, how it plays how competitive it is what are the best decks etc etc but it looks well fleshed out beautifully animated the cards look great uh, and it looks like there's so many cards that they put a lot of thought into it and um, it's gonna be pretty deep I can't wait to do it and I'm gonna stream a ton of uh, you know genius invocation here on Twitch and I'll probably make some videos on YouTube so homie come check out the Twitch if you're not already here but this looks like a lot of fun so homies that's gonna do it for my 3.3 special announcement you know reaction here on Twitch and the analysis of everything it looks to be a sick patch the artifacts are good the characters are good the weapons are good. I know not everybody can get the characters and weapons. Primo hands out there, homies, for, you know, the characters that you really want. But seems to be a fun patch. The events look fun. The card game looks really good, uh, honestly. You know, can't say too much now. We'll see how fun it actually is. But the future of Genshin with this patch, to me, is looking very bright. I'm still saving all my Primos for Dia. But uh, we'll have to see where it goes. So, homies... I appreciate you guys so much for watching this video and learning more about Genshin with me. Shout outs to the patrons, Zick, Poison Tongue Boy, and Steven Gomez supporting the stream, supporting the videos coming out over on the Patreon. So much love. I'd love it if you guys check that out. And uh, homies, come check out the stream sometime, okay? We got some nice dudes around here. It's bright and early, you know, but they woke up for this. So homies, I appreciate you watching the vids. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.